Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to show you some software I came across about two weeks ago. It's called Affinity. And so Affinity is actually really similar to what you get with Adobe with Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator. So Affinity have Designer 2, which is going to be like Illustrator and they have Photo 2, which is similar to Photoshop. And then they have Publisher 2, which will be similar to InDesign. So I've used Photoshop for years and I love it and it's a great piece of software, but it is just really expensive. So I came across this and I've been watching a few reviews on YouTube about it. And it looks like very similar to Photoshop and I feel like it's something I can transition over to pretty easy. So like for example, I used to use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos and then I made the move over to DaVinci Resolve and it took me probably a good two weeks to sort of really start to get used to using DaVinci Resolve. But you know, it is doable. And just because you've been using something forever, it doesn't mean you got to stay with it. And for me, if I can save some money, I'm going to give it a go. So two weeks ago, when I first looked at this, the prices were very appealing, um, but they're actually on sale today. And this is not sponsored or I don't have any affiliate links. Like I have nothing to do with Affinity. Um, I just wanted to share some information that I came across. So for a one-off payment, you can get the whole package which includes designer 2, photo 2 and publisher 2. So this is $137.99 Australian. So it's actually at yeah, 50% off at the moment which is awesome. I'm pretty sure the other week when I was looking it was still full price and for me for what I want I just want photo 2 and it's only $59. Um, so you can pay a one-off payment and you have it forever. So it's so much cheaper than Adobe which is crazy. But anyways when I went to the website today um, oh, and another thing is if you're like a student, um, you might be able to get it for free soon, which is really cool as well, or a non-profit. But anyways, so then when I came to the website today, I noticed that they are doing a six month free trial, which is awesome. I feel like I'm definitely going to know within six months whether I want to stay using it or whether I just want to stay with Photoshop. So anyways, I thought in today's video, we'll just install it together, see what it's like, have a quick look at the software. So yeah, and maybe you want to try it too. So let's see if it's any good. From the reviews I've seen on YouTube, it looks like pretty good software. Let's sign up and see what we get. So we're going to go try for free. You can do this and sign up for all three pieces of software, but I'm really just interested in the Photo 2 software. So you can get it for Mac OS, Windows and iPad. So I just want it for Mac OS. So we'll go try for free. Okay, so we just put in our email address. Okay, oh, and then you get a download link. So it looks like you don't even have to put credit card details in. So that's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my emails and then I just verified my email address. And then, yeah, you just get a, a link to download software. So if, if this software is actually good, Adobe probably need to take a look at their subscription plans and um, maybe rethink what they're doing. Okay. Okay, so 180 day trial available. So let's start the trial. Okay, thanks for updating to 2.5. You can do... So up here we have account and you can see here I've got 180 days remaining and then I have the option, you know, after the 180 days to buy now. So I'm hoping there's another 50% off sale when that time comes if I decide to get it. <laughs> um, so then I guess we go new and this isn't going to be like a full tutorial. We're just going to take a real quick look at what you get. So yeah, you can pick from these default resolutions, your print device, uh, is there cost? Oh, yeah. You just do custom down here. So we'll just keep it on 1920 by 1080 for now. Okay, so the layout looks very similar to Photoshop. You have all your tools down the side here and you have like your layers over here. So yeah, it looks pretty good and very similar to Photoshop. So I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to learn how to use, which is really good. So I'll leave a few links in the description below of the videos I watched about it. They sort of 
go in a little bit more in depth of the tools and stuff like that if you're interested in that. But yeah, I think if you want to save a bit of money, this could be a really good option. Or if you're just starting to get into design or you need to edit thumbnails for your YouTube channel, learning this software or even transitioning over to this software could be a really good idea. So yeah, I'm going to, you know, start teaching myself how to use this and hopefully it's going to be a good alternative to Photoshop. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.